I'm Chris Provost and you're watching Provost Podcast. And today I'm at Universal Studios Orlando. And we are gonna be, I, the reason I'm here is because I heard of some really cool things and some amazing holiday treats and some holiday decorations. And I heard they have the Macy's Parade. So let's go check this all out. Let's explore the Universal Studios Orlando. I just have some fun today, guys. It's a pleasure to have you with me. Let's do this. Here we are, guys, and Universal. They go hard on the holidays, and we're gonna show you a bunch of different stuff here. This is like this giant tree. Now, if I remember correctly, a couple of years ago I was here, and they had a squirrel that, that pokes his head out of this tree. So we'll see if we can find that squirrel. I'll walk you through the holiday store, and then I, we've gotta go see those floats, because I heard they have these floats here. I hope they do. Maybe I, I could have been misled, you never know. Hey, it's a panda! Woo! Oh my gosh, we love it. Thank you for the heart. All right, here I am. This tree is huge. Here I am at the base of the tree. I'm gonna walk around. We're gonna see if we can find the squirrel. I, I think it might be on the other side, but they used to have a squirrel that would pop out and you could see it. So I'll see if I can find this squirrel. Wow, you can get right up to it. Yeah, oh my gosh. It's kind of fun. Let's see if we find a squirrel. You guys, I found him. He's going back in. That little pesky squirrel ate the wire on the tree and that can like deactivate the tree. So this this squirrel could be the enemy of Christmas. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Here comes Earl. Earl the squirrel is coming out and he's got the wires in his mouth, which I'm concerned because he could get hurt. We never do that, guys. Here comes Earl. The unofficial mascot here at Universal. He's got his little hat on. I'm not sure if that's necessary because it's very warm today. <laughs> I was talking about Earl's Squirrel and the Universal Studios VIP tour guy. He's like, hey, Chris, do you want to know about the squirrel? I'm like, yeah, tell me. So this tree has been here over 20 years and it's several years ago. They, they unpack it for the holidays and store it. And when they put it back together, they plugged it in and hardly any lights worked. And they're like, what's going on? So they're going through and the wires were all chewed up. And they found a squirrel had made a nest in the tree. So they nicknamed him Earl of Squirrel. It became kind of a joke. So they, they put them here. The little the, the electricians have put Earl in the tree. He's always in a different spot. Every year you come here for the holidays, Earl is going to be in a different spot. All right, so now we have to go into the tribute store. They decorate this up all for the holidays. And I think there's even more Earl merchandise in here. Let's find out. Now, normally this is like a de this is like for movies. They have like Jaws and all these different movies in here. But now it's all decorated for Christmas and the holidays. Fresh cut Christmas trees, right here. And look, the whole thing is decorated just for the holidays. I love it. Ha ha ha. Have you been naughty or nice, guys? Have you been naughty or nice? I think I've been pretty good. Universal Studios holidays, and look at this hat. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. You're gonna notice Santa Claus there, and then right over here, you can also notice Coca-Cola here. Now, this is kind of interesting. Santa Claus has been around in various traditions and folklore for lots of different places. But really, it was Coca-Cola that kind of, like, they commercialized Santa Claus and gave him this red outfit and made him the way he is that we kind of see. And if you look over there, what do you see? What's, what is Santa drinking? Coca-Cola. Because, uh, yeah, he's, he kind of works with that. So there's a lot of Coca-Cola and Santa with Coke because Coke kind of popularized Santa Claus. And then they have this window. It's called Carl's Toy Chest. It's like... Look at this, got little, the gondolas are going up and down the mountainside. And then there's the little ice skating pond. Oh, you see that guy there, he's ice skating. He has a crush on that girl and he wants to go talk, go to, he's gonna skate over and talk to her, he's getting his courage up. He's like, what am I gonna say to her? He's like, I'm gonna ask her what her, nah, panicking. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm here with my buddy Rob today. Rob, that looks so good on you. It's a little tight. It's a little tight? Yeah. No, it looks tight. When I say tight, I mean as in good. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's, what I meant. It's tight. I'm getting my friend Rob to try all the hats. <laughs> my Rob should Oh my gosh, if I ever saw anything that was screamed Rob, it's that. 
<laughs> Perfect. And we got one more to try on, guys. I'm glad we have Rob here to try it all on so you guys can see it. What's just, what is your favorite? Put it down in the comments down below. This has got the this has got the jingles. Can I kind of shake? <laughs> yeah. Is it number one? Number two? Or number three? Rob, what was your favorite? Number three. Number three? I think mine was number two. But number three is pretty sweet. All right, so now we're gonna go in the second part of the shop. And this has got a little Harry Potter theme to it, like Harry Potter Christmas. Got a lot of Harry Potter merch in here. You got the backpacks and you got the shirts and scarves. And they always change, like you can never keep up with it because it always changes because they always have new merch here. If you are a Harry Potter fan, there's the post, the owls flying in with their post and their letters, so. And then over here shows a little bit of little Christmas action here for Harry Potter. All right, so here they have some plushes. And this is what's very interesting. I learned this here the last time I was here at Universal Studios. You got, you got the lion for Gryffindor. You got the, the snake for Slytherin. You got the raven for Ravenclaw. Is that a raven? And then you have the honey badger, the badger for Hufflepuff. Of the four of these, the most popular one, bam. And you can hardly keep that in stock. The badger goes. Everybody loves the badger. Sometimes when my wife Amanda is talking to me, she's like, are you even listening to me? Or is it just going in one ear and out the other? <laughs> For those of you who are new to the channel, I am a Slytherin. That's where I have my Slytherin tie on. I have my Slytherin socks. We're good to go. I wish, if I could choose any house though, if I could, if I could had a magic wand. Uh -huh. See what I did there, Harry Potter? If I had a magic wand and it says, which house would you want to be in? Hufflepuff. Hands down, I wish I was a Hufflepuff, but I'm a Slytherin. All right, now we're moving on. Still in the trivia show. We walked down the hallway now. It takes us into Whoville. Oh my gosh. Zamba Matan, Matan Mountain Crumpet Stars Star Struggling Tower Mayor's House. Hoover and Needville. Wow, not very good at reading Dr. Seussisms. They have a Grinch here. You get a little photo op. This, they actually have the real Grinch character you meet. This is just like a little statue. And the Grinch has just grown in popularity too. Merry Grinchmas. And then the Grinch. Okay, now we're moving on. It says Merry Mary's. Oh, there's the squirrel. There's Earl the Squirrel. We're gonna see that. This is just more, they have like, they go all out here. You guys, check it out. Earl the Squirrel's got merch. You're kidding me. Mary and Nutty, Universal Studios. Oh my gosh, check this out. I didn't even know, this is a thing, guys. This is, Earl's got a little, he's got a little hat on, his little winter hat with ear flaps. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, guys, we're, we're over here. We're looking, at, this is right in the, the tribute store. Halfway through, they have, they're tempting you with good smells. But check out this thing. This is a tiramisu cake, and it's got like a little bowl with a spoon. There's an eggnog. But that bowl and spoon is edible. It's just chocolate. It's just chocolate. You can, you can eat the whole thing. The whole thing is edible. You guys were like, I'm like, which one? I'm like, Rob's like, what do you mean which one? We're getting all three. So we're the tiramisu, the eggnog, and the toasted marshmallow hot cocoa. And we've heard, word through the grapevine, we've been told that the eggnog is probably the best. We'll find out. And there is Earl's photo op. Take a picture. It'll last longer. There's Earl. You get right here and get a photo right there by a tree. Because you know he's caused problems at the tree. Eating the wires. Good grief, Earl. All right, Rob, are we ready? He's like, I, I got it. I, I said, I'm not helping you carry this because this is not my choice. <laughs> I'm not being mean. Rob and I are buddies. I'm just teasing them and making them carry stuff. As you exit out, you see Earl Land. I think it's going to say Lando? Earl Land. Oh. Oh, is that like Orlando? I just got it. Good grief. And I love puns. I thought that was like Lando as in Lando Calrissian, but no, no, no. It's Orlando as in Orlando. But we're right here and Rob's like, hey, I, I wanted to eat these right now. We're wasting time, let's get to it. So let's get to it. All right, so here we go. This is tiramisu, eggnog, and that's toasted marshmallow. Everything you see is edible. That's just chocolate spoon, so. All right, 
We're going for it. And... Trying the eggnog. Eggnog. Delicious. Do you like eggnog? Oh. That would be the key. I love eggnog. Oh, then, and? and the eggnog is great. Eggnog's great. The chocolate is dark chocolate. Oh, you don't like dark chocolate? No. I love dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's the best. So you're probably not gonna like a lot of this because it's all dark chocolate, I think. You also could eat the bowl too. Oh, wait a minute, after I turn the camera off, he's like, guys, that's really good. I actually like baked my water. I do? All right, so now let's try, try the uh, tiramisu. What do you got here? So this doesn't work. No, that, you know, that's just a chocolate spoon, okay? Let's go in here for the tiramisu. I, I, tiramisu is okay. I don't love it, but I don't dislike it. I don't crave it either, though. And not my favorite. Not, so, so far, eggnog is winning. Okay. Yeah. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Yeah. No. We got to get a marshmallow. You have to get a marshmallow, Rob. It's like almost like, I think it's a lot in Orlando. All right. Okay. And what do we got there? How are you feeling about yourself right now? Okay. No, it's not bad. Oh, uh, eggnog's still the best? Yeah, eggnog. All right, guys, you heard it. Now I'm going to try them out. All right, I'm going to go with tiramisu first because I, that's probably my least favorite. It's exactly what you think it's going to taste like, 100%. Now we're going to go to the toasted marshmallow. It's really sweet, like incredibly sweet. And I'm gonna go for eggnog. That, the marshmallow is better than tiramisu. My palate is so sophisticated. <laughs> Tastes really good, guys. Eggnog for the win. Spoon. Mm, chocolate. You gotta try the cup. Oh, no, it's gotta be the same as a spoon. How do you try it? Break it? Then just eat, eat the cup. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to eat it. I've never eaten a cup. Oh my gosh, it's got a little like, handle on it. Pinky out, we're classy. You ready? I feel like a Mad Hatter. We're all mad here. It's everywhere. Don't look at me, I'm idiot. I'm gonna say this. They're really sweet, aren't they, Robin? Like, like, you don't need to buy three. <laughs> We've learned that. Because like, you eat one and then you're like, it's like sweet and you need a drink to, to, to wash it down. It reminds me of a uh, cake frosting. You know, you go to the market and buy a cake frosting out of the, the container. Oh, it literally exploded a piece. You know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're talking about. That doesn't remind me of that at all. It reminds me of <laughs> extra thick sugar. Yeah, like extra thick sugar. All right, so let me do a little update because I just learned some information. Just met with a, uh, an employee who works here. His name was Jason. He was so awesome. And anyways, I just want to say that um, this is what's going to happen. Is that it used to be back in the day uh, when the world changed, they had these parades and they would just put them in a giant warehouse. You could walk through at your own leisure to see them. But now, because the world's back to being normal, thank goodness, we can watch the parade. So the parade's gonna be at 5.30 this evening and they have these parades and they're designed by safe people to do the Macy's Day for low parades. And I, I really like to see that and share that with you guys. So I'm gonna kind of just, we'll just kind of bum around and tool around uh, Universal and just enjoy, maybe eat some more food. I think Rob's gonna be a hot dog over there. And then we'll uh, watch this parade together. So yeah, that's the plan. That's the absolute plan. Because why I'm waiting for Rob, I just wanna take a quick brief moment and just talk to you and I am talking to you. I just want you to know how amazing you are and how special you are. And I just think that you need to hear that. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, he's probably not talking to me, then I want you to be like, hey, snap out of it because I am talking to you. You make the world a better place. You absolutely make the world a better place and the world is better because you are in it. And I mean that. And so here's what you have to know. If you're going through a rough time, maybe you're in a relationship problem right now, or maybe you're struggling at work, or maybe you're struggling at your job. If you are, I want you to know it's going to get better and it will get better. And if I could, I would give you a giant hug and just let you know it's gonna be fine and we could sit down and maybe like talk baseball and just forget about our troubles for a while. But I've been in that dark place before and it, it gets better. Don't give up. 
whatever you do, don't give up. It's going to get better. I just want you to know the world's better because of you. And I'm talking to you, man. I just mean it. You're amazing. So, all right. Let's go uh, find Rob and let's continue on with the day, guys. Well, since we have some time, let's go ride the mummy, guys. We're buying Ran to the Mummy and uh, enjoy that amazing roller coaster. So when you ride the mummy, they make you put all your stuff in a locker, so I won't be able to film that, but I'll film my reaction when we get to the end. So just hang on and we'll get right to the end. Okay, let's do this. We just got off the mummy, it was awesome. And I told the guy, I'm like, hey, my friend Rob's never been on it. So he told me, he's like, okay, he goes, the best thing on the mummy is to be in the very back row on the left side. So I put Rob in the back row on the left side. What'd you think, Rob? Very good. Very good. Very fun, very short. Very short. And they're real fire. Yes. Real fire. Now we have about five hours till the parade, so we're just gonna kinda of tour around. I think we should go over to Diagon Alley, see their holiday decorations over there. And then we'll come back and we'll watch the parade, guys. So let's do this and enjoy a little holiday festival cheer together. Let's go do it. And today's category is drum roll, please. Songs that get you in the holiday spirit. <laughs> that's going to bring some holiday cheer into our lives. We're going to stop and look at it. So we saw that, we had to stop. But we are now on our way to Diagon Alley. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that they have to have that. I mean, Harry Potter is pretty synonymous. Synonymous? Synonymous? Harry Potter is pretty synonymous with... Synonymous. Is that a word? Synonymous. Synonymous? Anywho, Harry Potter is pretty synonymous with Christmas. So let's go check it out, see if they have it decorated. I'm pretty sure they would. Synonymous. All right, guys, this is the entrance to Diagon Alley. And I noticed they have wreaths up there and some Christmas trees, so they've got to have it decorated in there for holidays. Let's go check it out. Oh, yeah. You guys, look. I love it. Got wreaths up. <laughs> Let's go through the stores and check it out. Let's go check out the holiday cheer. Awesome. Look at that reef. It's all like dark and that takes you to Nocturne Alley. Whoa. Whoa. Let's go in, Madam. What is that? Matkins? I don't know what that is. School of Formal Wear. Look at this dress, guys. It's like a little mannequin. You go down to the dress and the dress is like alive with vibrance. Had fire, now it's got leaves for fall. Wow, crazy cool. Okay, so I bought my Slytherin tie here a couple years ago, and back then the fashion was a thin tie. This one, oh, this doesn't have the, this doesn't have the logo on it, interesting. But I like it because it's wider. I like, the, I like wider ties. All right, we're gonna go down into Nocturne Alley, the place where shenanigans happens, guys. Darkness abounds. I wonder if they decorate for the holidays. Let's find out. Oh, there's one teeny tiny, oh, it's not even a wreath. I thought it was a wreath. Never mind. No decorations. Maybe. Is that garland? Let's go, let's go see what the store's got. Okay, so we are in, was it, Borgen and Burks. There is no holiday chair in the store. It is dark. It is, they don't want cheer here. This is just all for dark magic. No, 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 no happiness, not here. Nocturne Alley right back there does not decorate at all. Other than those two wreaths, we come in. Whoa, dragon. 
but the rest of the place is decorated, so let's go check it out. Okay, we're in this like magical creature shop. Oh look, they got all the little decorations going around. I'll be home for Christmas. That's awesome. Look at those dragons over there licking their tongues. I felt like they should have had little wreaths hanging down. The whole place has got like little decorations here set up. It looks really fun and cool and I like it. It's a bit of a holiday spirit. <laughs> Do you know what my favorite song is? I ain't got nobody. 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 Is that the hand of the charts? <laughs> yeah, it's the hand of the charts. <laughs> hey. hey, what's up, for animals? I got a question to ask you. Oh, out. goody. How many times have you seen The Exorcist? <laughs> well, let me think about this for now. About 367 <laughs> times! And it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it! <laughs> That's all I needed! Woo! <laughs> got it. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty far from Christmas cheer. We're gonna go do the horror makeup show and look at some old horror icons. I love horror. And there's that Christmas song where they talk about singing like, you Chris, old horror. <laughs> there's a Christmas song we sing about watching, tells ghost stories at Christmas time. So let's look at some horror stuff and then go on to Christmas cheer. These are the, all the old horror films, old Frankenstein, Halloween. That's my favorite a horror movie of all time. The Thing. The man is probably Jurassic Park. So this is the prop of Frankenstein. See, this is the side of the, of the what Frankenstein looks like. This is how it looks when they, they didn't really wear it on their head. It's crazy. Here's how they did the Wolfman mask. You see, it's like there and it goes across. Craziness. I have actually never seen Creature from Black Lagoon. Uh, but I don't know, everybody says it's a classic. Oh my gosh, they have the original Chucky doll. <laughs> There's Michael Myers' mask from Halloween. Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. Grinch, not sure why the Grinch is here, but it is. That's from the movie Thing that I like a lot. I think it was Legend or something like that movie with Tom Cruise. All right, so now we're gonna go into like this, this horror special effects show. It's supposed to be really funny. And then after that, we're gonna kind of walk around just waiting for this parade to start and have a little Christmas cheer. The mummy. Let's keep that under wraps. Alright, so the horror makeup show. I don't know if we're allowed to film here, so probably not. So we'll just kind of afterwards I'll tell you what kind of what happens. But it's also kind of fun. Something I've never done before, my first time ever doing this. Awesome Peter. of you. Thank well, you. What are you doing? Just yeah, there you go. Ah! Wow! Ah! Come on! Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Sure. Nothing. Just we do have some kids in the audience. Do you want to? You want me to cut the kids? No. Nope. <laughs> uh, just talk. I think talk. Talk to the kids before oh, you. Yeah. 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 Lydia, you're fine. Lydia. Kids, listen to me. <laughs> Don't ever, ever, ever drink beer for breakfast, okay? <laughs> Just because mommy and daddy have been doing it for a couple of years. Um, Listen, we don't judge. We were homeschooling for two years. Mommy needs a drink break. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the knives and blades you see up here in the movies, they've all been dulled, of course. A lot of them are made out of rubber or plastic, like the Kardashians. <laughs> this stuff is done by professionals, and when they're not drinking, they're very good at what they do. So don't try this at home. Right. Try it at a friend's house. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Can we get a close-up on Lydia, please? All right. Perfect. Everybody, scream along. Yes, everybody. Right, I got you. One, two, three. Hey, man. supposed to do that? Yeah! Really? No! Well, uh, what do we do? Picture! Picture. <laughs> Hello, Mike! All right. Hello. Did it, does it hurt? No. No? Okay, great. If you can loosen your grip just a little. <laughs> <laughs> right. okay. It's hiding here first, slicing away, then boom, boom. 
<laughs> Blood bulb in the back, it's all fake. Lydia's okay. She did a great job, big head. I am. Thank you, Lydia. Let's go across a little faster. Hey, hey. I like big butts and I can't get You like big butts, Lydia? That's our show! That was hilarious. It was super fun. The thing I have to be a little bit leery of, just being so, so you know, if you have little kids, they do show a lot of gory blood. But it was so much fun. And now it's emptying us into the uh, gift shop. So you can see it's all horror monsters. Let's check it out. There's a little Christmas cheer. There's a wreath on the hearse. So the last time we were here, Miles saw the creature from Black Lagoon. Lagoon, not the movie, but just this creature. And he kind of became obsessed. I think it just got in his mind. So every once in a while, he'll always ask, like, what's that creature again? He like thinks about it and asks, he's like, is it a real creature? I like, know it's not, but I can see that'd be pretty terrifying to think that. It's getting close to, we got a couple more hours, we got about two more hours till pray time. But I'm gonna say this, they've set up like all these little stanchions and everything. People are already lining up for the parade. This is, must be a big deal. People are talking about it, they're excited and they want to be here for the parade. So I'm excited Universal, let's check out this parade. Okay, we have 90 minutes of parade and Rob's like, we're standing over there, Rob's like, there's a bench! Grab the bench over here at the bench. Parade route's gonna go right along here, guys. We got about 90 minutes, but we're having a good time. We're just relaxing, enjoying the music, having a good time. Gonna have a little Christmas spirit, Rob, a little Christmas spirit. Hey, so why are we waiting here for the parade to get ready to start? I just wanna say this, if you wanna come down here and have a really fun time at Universal Studios Orlando, uh, you can call Getaway today. You call them at 1-855-GETAWAY. That's 1-855-GETAWAY. You tell them Provost Park Pass sent you and they will help plan your entire trip. That's what I did. I want to come down here. They, they helped set me up on my hotel down here and my tickets, everything you need. They will help you set that up and take care of you. And by letting them know that Provost Park Pass sent you, you're going to get the deepest discounts available. Or if you want, you can just click the link down below and that'll also give you the biggest discounts here when you come down here to Orlando. It is a lot of fun and I'm enjoying it. It's a, it's just, it feels good down here. Come on down, check it out, it's fun. Seriously, even on the hotels, best deals on hotels and tickets. All right, let's continue on. So I saw a guy out here and he's measuring the wind. And I was like, oh, is that for the fireworks there tonight? He's like, no, that's for the parade. I'm like, the parade? He's like, yeah, he goes, we have these stilt walkers. We have to know how the wind's going for the stilt walkers. How cool is it? I'm excited for this parade. I'm gonna give a little sneak preview, because look, back there, boop, boop, boop. You kind of see, the, they're getting the parade ready, guys. All right, so I got some amazing good information. So I just talked to the person who works here at Universal and they told me, they're like, Chris, the floats are actually from like the Macy Day's parade. Like the Macy's comes down here and helps with the uh, with the uh, floats and make sure that the, the, the balloons have the right, they're perfectly topped off with helium and the show quality is up to Macy's standard. And then uh, he told me the best place to go to watch the parade. So I'm gonna try to walk there right now and see if I can get that spot. If you're wondering where the perfect spot is, it's right here by the Bourne Stunt Show. That way when you turn, you look right down the whole street as they come towards you, the balloons. And this street here is where they fly the balloons at the highest level for the parade. All right guys, the parade's about to start. So you come right down the street. Look how pretty it's, it looks. So you go right down there. And here we go guys, parade should start in two minutes. And here comes the parade right here guys. It is awesome, yes! And it's the beginning of the parade right there, guys. Hi! Happy holidays! Oh, look at those dresses. These are the balloons. Oh, the 
minions. Such a, they're awesome. Miles loves them so much. They're all over the tree. There's our balloon leader. Madagascar.
these little robots. Oh my gosh. have orange gloves so that they can see them easier. Happy holidays! So we got a good hot tip. We're, so, we're gonna follow the parade. The reason we're following it is once the parade gets out of sight, Santa Claus is going to light up the Christmas tree. We want to be there for that. So we'll follow the parade to watch Santa light up the tree. Oh, there goes the tree! Santa lit it up, guys. Oh, it shut snow out. Look all over there, too. How fun is that? So we just followed the end of the parade right there. We just walked around and got right here to the front. It's right by, we know that Earl the Squirrel's in there. It's on this morning. And it's right by the tribute store. And this is where uh, you just, it's awesome. Holiday cheer, guys. Holiday cheer. We're going to go look. Rob and I were discussing. Do you think Earl, you know how he's got those, those lights in his mouth? Do you think they're lit up? I hope they are. So we're gonna find Earl the squirrel in the tree and see if his lights that he's holding in his mouth are lit up. <laughs> Don't ever do that at home, anybody, but it's kind of funny for a squirrel. And you guys, there's like some fake snow coming down. And you got some Christmas music, the parade's still going. The tree is lit up. Ah, it's good. I just want you to know I think you're amazing. All right, so I can see Earl. He's up, oh, he's coming out right now. Oh no, they're not lit up. Ah, oh, darn it. I felt that they should light up. It kind of looks like they're lit up, but they're not. Oh well, Earl, it's because he bit the wire. That's why they don't light up, guys. That's why they don't light up. That was so fun. Now here's the thing. Rob thinks that an Islands of Adventure on the other park, we didn't even get to it today. He thinks that the Dr. Seuss land, and he's pretty sure that the Hogwarts, the Hogsmeade area, is gonna be decked for Christmas. So, in our next video, the next video coming out, I'm gonna go over there, and we're gonna go check out uh, Dr. Seuss land, and we're gonna check out uh, Hogsmeade to see if they are decked for Christmas. And, as a bonus, I haven't told Rob we're doing this. We're gonna order the biggest plate of food you've ever seen. We're gonna order that for three broomsticks. Can we do that? Oh, we're absolutely doing that. Oh, we're absolutely doing it, you guys. We're gonna show you like, this massive meal. So that'll be in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You are the very best. I'll talk to you later. All right, I'll see you in the next video. More holiday spirit coming your way. Christmas time is here and I'm having fun showing you the lights at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. You are awesome. Yes, you are. You're as bright as the star on top of a tree.